I was recently introduced to something called baby metal. If you've managed to steer clear of this minor internet viral sensation, here's what it is. It's a band that fuses metal and J-pop. The results are, well, you can hear it. It's weird, but it's Japanese. They got porn where octopi rape women, and they sell worn schoolgirl panties and vending machines. This isn't even close to the weirdest thing that's come out of the land of the rising sun. But the comments and some of the other things I've read about it remind me why I hate metalheads. I've often been accused of being a metalhead because I do comedic reviews of 15 to 20 pop and hip hop songs every year, so clearly I must only like metal. That's the only reasonable conclusion anyone could ever come up with, right? Like every genre, there are some songs I don't mind, and there are some songs I don't like at all, and metal is no exception. But I fucking hate metal fans as much as I hate any other group of fans. First off, I've never seen a group go so far out of their way to hate things. Baby Metal isn't a great example, but like, no one came to it thinking, Huh, wonder what this is. Baby Metal. I'll bet this'll be fucking face-meltingly awesome. There are two scenarios. Scenario 1. Their metalhead friend stumbled upon it, either because someone mockingly posted it on their Facebook page to troll them, or because they heard it sucked on a forum, watched the video, and then sent it along to them. Or, scenario two, they were the person who got trolled or read about it on a forum before sending it along to their friends. So, they watch it, then they start making really stupid comments about how metal is dead and this is a disgrace. One commenter says they're glad that men are dead so that they weren't alive to witness this. Glad they are fucking dead. Spared from such a horrific experience seeing three Japanese girls perform a metal song about chocolate. Much better than having to live through it. Fucking mouth breathers. But metal fans will go out of their way to comment on non-metal videos as well. Justin Bieber fans aren't going out of their way to tell Opeth fans how great Bieber is. They contain it to their own videos and Twitter hashtags. But you can bet metal fans will go to rap and pop videos and talk shit and say stupid things like, why is this shit more popular than real music like, insert names of six metal bands. And holy fuck are they delusional. Here's a quote from a review of Baby Metal from UltimateGuitar.com. This may very well mark the completion in the process to commercialize metal music. This is the completion to commercialize metal. You see, metal wasn't commercialized before. All those Iron Maiden t-shirts I've ever seen must have been free, huh? The Sword, Mastodon, Trivium, they're giving away all their shit. Motorhead and Megadeth's concerts, they're zero dollars a ticket, right? The point I'm trying to make is, it's all commercialized. It's all a product. It's just a niche product, serving a smaller group of people, but a product nonetheless. This idea that metal is more pure than pop music or whatever, it's like saying that Five Guys Burgers and Fries is a less commercialized company than McDonald's. No, they just make less money, but the owners of Five Guys would fucking love to make McDonald's money. There's no such thing as less commercialized. You're either selling a product or you're not. So how come metal isn't as popular? How come it makes less money than pop? Because of the fans. Metal artists could become successful if it wasn't for all the infighting and these stupid perceptions once a band does start gaining popularity. Metal fans are almost as bad as Electronica fans, arguing over fucking subgenres and shit. Fucking black metal's way fucking better than speed metal and fuck thrash metal. Power metal's for pussies. And sometimes I'll listen to symphonic metal as a guilty pleasure, but it's death in black for me or it's nothing. And then someone will say, that's just, just a bunch of dudes grunting and burning down churches. Fuck you, speed and thrash are way better. And the entire metal community just infights instead of just enjoying whatever they want to and supporting artists while everyone else just looks at them and says, it all sounds the fucking same to me. 
There have been a few metal albums that hit number one on the Billboard 200, including releases from Pantera, System of a Down, Metallica, Disturbed, Avenged Sevenfold. But the last three bands are pretty well shunned by self-proclaimed true metal fans and called sellouts, while the other two bands just kind of ended before they had the chance to be called sellouts. Satan fucking forbid a band gets popular in the metal community. They're worse than hipsters this way. Something gets popular, immediately it sucks and the band's old stuff was way better. And they gotta go find something more obscure to like. And then they turn around and make nonsensical comments like, How come this isn't more popular than all that pop and rap shit on the charts? Huh. I have no fucking idea why. And getting back to baby metal and this idea that it ruins metal, or that any band you don't like ruins other bands that you do like. How does it do that? How does baby metal ruin metal? By it existing, does it cause your favorite bands to degrade in musical ability? Do old Sabbath records start disappearing? Hold on everyone, three teenage girls sang J-pop while being backed by a metal band, Judas Priest, Dream Theater, Napalm Death, Sepultura, and Slayer have been wiped from the planet and everyone's memories. They never existed. The names I just said mean nothing. You know what's funny to me? So many metal songs are about death, suicide, coping with loss, heavy drug use. You got Slayer singing about the specific experiments of Nazi torture doctor Joseph Mengele. Norwegian black metal groups burn down churches. And what scares you more than any of that is the irrational fear that three teenage girls in crinoline skirts could hurt an entire genre. Tell me again how badass you are? Yeah. Yeah.